Good morning, fans, Rob TRFX. Coming at you Friday, 19th of May. So in May, go away. NASDAQ getting really stretched here. Bang, big day, big up day there. We we rarely ever trade NASI. Um, we own we own some assets, uh, stocks from the NASI, but uh, we don't ever trade the index. But if I were to trade it, I would sell. Um, pretty straightforward. Powell today, everyone's going to be watching this. Um, you know, what's he going to say? I think he's going to continue to beat the hawkish drum, which is probably not good for equities. Um, so, I don't know. Sell the stretch in NAS today is what we're thinking. S&Ps, which we've spent some more time trading in our careers, but we haven't really traded yet this year. Um, less, less clear uh, to sell. Maybe up at um, 4230 or 4240 with a stop above 4250 or something like that. Uh, that's on the on the frontal lobe today. Let's look at currencies. Euro on its knees. 107.60. Um, there's a confluence of um, support here between 107 and 107.50. These these highs over here from March 15th. 107.60 uh, match up with these lows here. Uh, there's not a lot you can do here going into Powell because uh, there's going to be big vol. What he says. Again, if he's hawkish, uh, you know, the knee jerk will be higher dollar. But considering we just dropped 350 points, basically in a straight line, um, you look for today to possibly be some sort of capitulatory event. Uh, so these are incredibly hard events to trade. Where do you, you know? You gotta stick your bid somewhere. I don't know, 10707, um, 107, You know, just some serendipitous number. Um, and then, God forbid, he's not hawkish. This thing's gonna rip. Um, same thing with gold, right? So gold. Are we going to get one more last gasp down to sort of 1935, which we had, a, we have a support, um, maybe. If you put a bid, if you leave a bid down at 1935, are you going to get Lonely Girl 17 As in, shit's just never going to trade and you're stuck square. Um, you see how this is, this is incredibly complicated. Maybe buy some straddles or something. Maybe the, today may be the day to put some sort of option structure on where you have a long bias and you don't have to time it exactly. So this is not really how we trade. But those of you who are smart-ass options guys out there, you may think about doing something like that. Let's look at cable. <laughs> Less clear. I mean, cable's... I say come down less. Um, it's holding up better. It's not really at the at the wild extension points that the DYX is, or is it DXY? Yeah, DXY. We rarely see this in the DXY. Really, really, really overbought. Um, again, going into this. 10350 104 resistance um, wow just crazy yields are, are higher but they're not crazy higher right I mean three 363 isn't like uh, who let the dogs out um, breaking above this recent trendy little range but Very, very stretchy, stretchy times. Dollar China also, same same exact chart. We're not 
I'm not getting involved in Dollar China at all, but um, see how extended this is. And you see how the resistance here, 107, uh, 713, so that's actually a percent away. Stay away from that. What else is out there? OPEC is fucking around. So Euro Norway is higher. Dollar Norway also. If you want to be exotic and you want to be, um, I don't know, try and be cool in the gang, you might want to sell the Dollar Norway at 11. Um, it's a percent away, but the shit's pretty volatile. Um, and weirdly, it might be cleaner, right? Because nobody in their right mind trades Dollar Norway. Only a fool and a and, and a hero um, would trade that. Um, so if you want to flip a coin to see whether you're a fool or a hero, leave an offer in Dollar Norway at 11 uh, today. You know, I, I could go on. There's there's a lot of different setups out here. Um, Aussie Kiwi got smushed. Where's that shit these days? Down here at the lows. Not much to do, Aussie Kiwi. We got um, rates out of New Zealand early next week. They're going to raise. Um, this is a pair we like to mean revert on, but mean reversion doesn't start for another 100 points. So actually, we'll just leave that. Cad Yen. Um, Especially with if oil uh, starts to go left again, CAD yen is extended and maybe a better bet than dollar yen. Dollar yen is here. Although, tell you what, inflation out of Japan is a little bit out of hand. And, you know, one of these days, I think one of these days soon, BOJ is going to say, Jesus, um, we got to change policy. And even though there's 500 points in dollar yen carry, people forget, right, that the move from 140 to 110 in dollar yen is going to be two days. Uh, you know, we've seen this movie before. We saw it. At, we saw it, you know, most prolifically in '98 with LTCM. Most of you probably weren't even born in 1998. Um, this move. That's 85. This one here, 147 to 109. Um, I guess the the chunk of it was basically 136 to 109. This is the monthlies. I don't even want to drill down to the dailies, but um, people just forget. We had a little bit of this here. This was BOJ, so this wasn't a policy shift. This was a force feeding. Um, from 151 to 126, but um, we're waiting, you know. And when we see the policy shift, you just close your eyes and hit any bid because dollar yen is going to go back to 110. Um, and this is, will be also helpful for, for Japan to fight inflation, right? Stronger currency helps you fight inflation. But... <laughs> Today's not the day for dollar yen. If you want to, if you want to fade yen products, I think CAD yen is, is your horse. Um, and voila, we're focusing on euro dollar. We're going to try and buy low ones in euro dollar. We're going to try buy low ones in gold. Um, again, there's not much to do right now. Unfortunately, all of Europe's on vacation. By the way, fucking Powell is not for another nine hours, 10 hours, 5 p.m. Swiss time. So, I don't know. Get some fitness. Go fuck your wife. Um, it's a good morning for that, that kind of activity. And then uh, be refreshed and ready for 5 p.m. Jay Powell speaking. And shit's going to move today. I'll leave you with that. Good luck out there, peeps. Talk to you on Monday.